Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how you can apply for the fully funded Turkey government scholarships. So before I start, please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for more updates. So uh, this is the official link where you can go and check out all the details. So the applications are open between from 10th January to 25th February and it is for undergraduate masters and PhD students and it is fully funded you can get your per month expense as well accommodation health insurance and uh, air ticket as well so these are the required documents you need a valid national identification document so uh, you can read this uh, list i will put the link in the description and you should read these required documents and then this is the important detail that uh, you should have uh, if you are applying in a program that is in English then you need uh, a TOEFL or IELTS uh, yeah, test and for undergraduate uh, candidates who possess international qualifications such as SAT or GS, GCSC instead of national exam scores will need to provide minimum required qualification needed so for those uh, students who do not possess uh, Turkish language to carry out their programs in Turkish then this scholarship offer them one year Turkish language program so they have to pass that uh, one year language course at the end and uh, in order to continue this scholarship they need to score C1 level this is exactly the same like you can you have to follow the procedure just like in Chinese government scholarship so uh, this is the official link where you have to go and uh, you have to create your account uh, just click here on re register and uh, then after that just write your name and your surname and then your gender whatever you are and then the, your date of birth the national citizenship then email and then you have to write email again and then your password and then password and any secret question then I am not a robot and then you have to click on I approve and then save so guys after that you will receive this message that your registration has been successfully completed and you will receive your activation email just like that I have received here an activation email then you just have to click uh, here to complete the registration steps so after that uh, it will be load and then your registration is complete so now you can go to home page and then uh, do the login so and uh, this is just uh, uh, application calendar so this is the you know you can also check it out and this is when the scholarship opened and this is when it closes then evaluation started so I will put this link in the description you can check it out all the calendar schedule so now I have to log in here and so I will skip it. So guys, after that, you will receive something like this. You will see something like this. So first of all, you have to uh, write your here all the details. You can click on here and uh, then you have to write your gender and your martial status, whatever it is. And then uh, you need to select country of birth. So after that, you need to select your city of birth, then your type of your ID. Either you want to upload your citizenship number, which is for Pakistan, it is CNIC number, or you, or you also can upload your passport or a passport number, and then click your passport number and type of passport, country code, so all the details. Uh, after that, you can also fill this out, but it is not necessary. So, uh, and then you have to uh, once you're done, you need to click here save. Uh, so these are the five mandatory steps so citizenship number and okay I will skip it uh, so after writing your uh, details here then you have to fill out your information and hobbies just click here and then whatever your hobbies you just click on those hobbies and then you can check it out so like uh, be true to yourself whatever your hope is just click on those uh, just no need to do like um, extra to me like you don't have to click on all so and I guess that's it for me so I will click here on save uh, the number of mandatory fields to be filled in the page number one
then you have to write the details about your hobbies why you like uh, why you prefer those hobbies so I like sports and so like this you have to write something uh, and whatever comes to your mind regarding these hobbies if you like animal why why you like these and your book computers or whatever so then you have to click on save uh, and after that it will be saved and then special talent information if you have any kind of special talent and then you can also write here so photography or whatever it is and if you are a good painter and if you are a good musician and if you are good in sports so you can also write that so and then you have to write information about special talent so uh, and then anything you can just write about your talent huh? so like any special uh, if you have any if you have received any some kind of special reward for your performance and uh, which shows that it is really special because you excel in that talent and after that so then you have to give your family information so your mother name your father name and your number of siblings like how many brothers and sisters you are then your total monthly income then you have to click on save so once you click on save then uh, it will show here tick green tick otherwise it will show this uh, exclamation mark so be, ca be careful to fill it out and then contact info you have to write your all the contact information here your country your city and your postal code and uh, after that uh, if you want to give your social media links so you can also write those here and uh, I, I would say you must write skype id uh, uh, or linkedin so it is a good idea and to enhance your profile and so be remember uh, whenever you uh, fill this out then click on save so after that you have to fill your educational information your medical mid, um, middle school high school and um, your bachelor degree or associated degree and whatever you've done till uh, whatever you record have so like for high school you can go here write your high school information uh, so for example pakistan and then Uh, in this way you can write your detail here and then educational stage secondary education uh, skill type general, general general high school and yes so this was my major thanks and then you have to write status graduate um, because if you have passed and graduate if you are continuing then just click on continue so then you know, write your start date and end date then you create and so it was for me it was like 100 so like and then you have to write your grades here whatever you create got out of 84 so this is 84.4 or 84.0 whatever so that's it and then you have to upload your uh, degree uh, or uh, degree or transcript uh, here you have to upload your degree by clicking here here you have to upload your transcript so and then uh, have you achieved any significant ranking at this education so if you have got any first position second position or gold or silver medal then just click on yes or if you didn't uh, then click on no so if, uh, you have to um, give more details about your achievement so uh, either in city school and country so like this and achievement rank first second third whatever it is okay so and can you uh, do you have any certificate to prove your achievement uh, of course you need a certificate to prove this because uh, your achievement must be in some kind of certificate so i think yeah, you should uh, only click on these options when you have actual to the, uh, that achievement so and then you can i got university admission exam result so you uh, click either on yes or no and then you have to click on save here you have to give your language details what is your native language native uh, like uh, which you which is your preferred language like your mother uh, your mother tongue so and then other language skill if you have any other language then click on here and then 
click on whatever so for me like English and select level advanced and then I have certificate uh, do you have certificate so if you have then click on here and then write a date when you gave the exam and then your grade so that's it and then you click on save uh, okay just click on save then you have to give your Turkish language skills no and then click on save and you can also like for me my native language is Punjabi so save and now uh, this section is complete so you will see this blue type of tick so be sure to uh, it should be see like this and then it means you have fill all the information here and then you have to give your work experience and just to give your I have completed I am currently doing my internship or whatever or you can just you just have to click here add and then give your details and then you have to write your academic qualifications uh, so any academic qualification you have then you have to give information here and social activities uh, it is uh, important uh, to give more type of award certificates whatever you have just write it because it is very important to get scholarship and because these all small little things count so you just have to give all their details and then just add add and then turkey experience so uh, are you in turkey now or have you ever been to turkey so you just fill out these details have you ever received a scholarship from any institution or organization in turkey now what was the purpose of your stint and do you have so then you just have to click here do you have relative which currently was previously audited so education fair whatever it is so just click here save and enter and then my application and after you will complete all of your these details so uh, you will go to home page and when you write all your details so uh, on based on your details it will show here that you can apply here so for bachelor degree or for master uh, it will like you come green tick here as now i fill my all all of the information so you can just uh, see here that i am eligible for a graduate scholarship program not eligible for bachelor because i have already completed my bachelor so you just have to click on graduate and then you can also read general conditions so master degree candidate should not be born earlier than so uh, like and they uh, he should not be born before 1991 so Turkey scholarship candidates are selected based on academic and social achievement you need to meet these so etc etc then you just click on here apply before proceeding to fill in the details of the scholarship please check the information you have provided so they are just and then just read out and then start application so once you click on this so you will see like this application may take 30 to 50 minutes so I have read so then this then save uh, save after that preference uh, you can uh, you can choose up to 12 university so now you have to give your preferences in which university you want to prefer and your preference physics physics English so so these are the available so Manamaraj University is Mir and Istanbul is the so like this okay I select this save before uh, selecting your university you just have to go to Google and just search about that university and uh, get more details about it uh, its requirement like for example i have selected this marmara university so like let me search for this what is this university so it is university based on istanbul so you can also check its ranking or like for example what is its ranking
so your first preference will be considered as your preferred choice so my preference is this and then you can add uh, it is recommended to inquire university equivalence and whether you prefer university that recognize or not in your country so you just have to confirm this as well and uh, then you can also apply you can make many choices here so like physics let's see in physics so this is in uh, Turkish but this is in English so I click all of this I have been agreed to place in different problem than what I have chosen in case what so it depends on you whatever you prefer then save so after that you have to write letter of intent so then uh, in this section you have to explain your uh, academic and social experience relating to your field and and your response for choosing turkey for study and importance so it is just like a letter of motivation so just you have to this uh, and this is the most important part for your scholarship uh, you need to write it very carefully you need to spend time to search of all these questions and then after that you need to write all these details because yeah it is really really important for you to write this uh, and writing good and then you have to give your referee information like uh, you, you have to it is recommended that you that those you list as a referee must be well acquainted with you so that we may request information about you from them so give at least two recommendation letters so give your two professors name and their emails uh, and then that's it and then you have to go here summary of application once you have completed all this so then you can go once your all these information will be completed then you will go to summary of application and then you have to submit it so that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed my video if you have any question please let me know thank you for watching bye take care and please do subscribe my channel